everybody how you doing john here you are watching in the loop travel and we are cruising on margarita villa at sea's new islander cruise ship i'm going to show you a tour of my cabin we're on the everlasting moon one of the signature grand suites on board let's have a look here we are inside you can see it's a very spacious suite uh, we are on the starboard side more toward the front of the ship here in this cabin uh, let's take a look at some of the features you can see they have a little seating area here so you can have meals in your room uh, because this is one of the upper suites they give you some nice little amenities some uh, chocolates rum cakes things like that um, you do get a fresh fruit basket every day here you have a full bar uh, you got a recipe book for some drinks jimmy's perfect margarita is showcased here speaking of margaritas they give you a margarita set up every day so a little recipe and all the fixings there so you can make yourself some margaritas here at the desk. Um, so you also have a mini bar that you can get stocked. And this stuff's all included in this class of suite. Uh, in this cabinetry, you do have a couple of drawers that are pretty much serving as the only wardrobe uh, drawers and spaces here on the ship. Uh, we do have the closet right behind. I'll show you how that storage works. We did notice that there are not a lot of hangers. Here's space on this side. And then you got the space on this side here, the bathrobe and slippers. And then you've got some shelving in there plus the safe. But not a lot of storage. These are only a th four and five night cruise. They will eventually have some seven night week-long cruises as well on the itinerary out of Tampa. This is the former Costa Atlantica ship uh, built in 2000, then refurbished to add to the Margaritaville at Seas Fleet. Um, Islander is the second in the fleet joining Paradise, which is also sailing. Uh, you can see here they got some molding around, so some of the decor, how it looks in here, and then it goes from the bedroom to the living room space out there. Uh, double bed that can be split into two singles. Um, there is not a lot of, uh, we have one uh, US style plug, North American style plug, but everything else is gonna be European outlets scattered around the room. Little reading lamp. And then you have USB on the side of the bed for some power. So you're gonna wanna bring some of your own adapters when you stay on the ship usb there again uh, international style plugs a little bit of shelving up here that you can use you can see the decor these rooms are all themed after jimmy buffett songs there are six of these signature suites and uh within the room we are in the everlasting moon one as i showed you and they do have the lyrics to the songs as part of the decor here and you can see all sorts of little features giving you the tropical island beach vibe here. The large screen TVs on each side, you get one for the bedroom. And there's one out here in the living room. And they're kind of connected. We notice if you turn on the TV in one room, it's it's got the TV on in the other room. And they kind of work together in sync. You, you, we haven't figured out a way where the remote doesn't turn them both on at the same time, but it doesn't seem to interrupt anything. You, the volume's on and they don't have an echo or anything. It's somehow they work together. There's a, a variety of uh, cable channels on. Um, you got the, uh, the safety briefings and things like that on board or on the uh, channels. Uh, no on-demand TV shows or movies or anything at this point that we've seen. Little books set around, some Jimmy Buffett books for reading. This couch is a pull-out extra sleeper for this cabin. And uh, you got a, some extra sort of storage areas here as well. And let's check out the very large balcony, which is nice to hang out on. A couple of chairs and a couple of loungers <laughs> out here. And that balcony space also has the windows that you can view through the bedroom out here. 
and then the living room is the door is the only access point is from the living room door here. All right, we'll finish our look around inside. Um, this is the large mirror here and a desk. You get a little storage space in this top drawer, which also has the hair dryer. You got a telephone and then there's some of the power outlets. There's the US style I was telling you about. These are USB ports up in here, all the control for the lighting. Oh, there's another US style plug there, hidden behind the shaker. I hadn't noticed that earlier. And this is a cabinet where you could use for some more storage. It's a lot of shelving in here. It has the, some more bar glass, but you can see you can use this more as some shelves for clothes if you didn't have enough space within the closet. Uh, finally, we will take a look at the large walk-in bathroom with the large walk-in shower. Has the dual sinks down here. What we did notice is uh, down here is the only storage area you really have for all your toiletries and stuff, and there's not a lot of shelving, so it ends up in that sort of situation where you sort of toss everything in there, and then the towel hangers are above it, so you have to like lift them up so they don't get caught in there on the way back. But you get two sides for that. There aren't really any shelving on the wall like you might usually see. Um, you got a hand wash and motion there. And the big shower, oh, I'm gonna have to wash my head here. <laughs> um, but you get the shower and everything here. So this is a really nice space in our cabin. And that's it. Uh, our grand signature suite here on Islander, the new ship from Margarita Villa. See, I do have um, some of the, all of the public spaces that you don't want to miss. I got that in a separate video as well. I'm going to link that right here and in uh, this, this description box below. So you can check that out if you want. Uh, thanks for checking out the video and we'll see you in the next one.